Low State Jedi's. Welcome back to the channel. So she's Bengali, actually. Right? What are the odds? What the fuck? What are the odds, though? What are the odds? What do you do to focus? What do you do to get into the Oh, actually, I've been into like yoga. I learned how to do a headstand. Yeah, I can do a headstand. Oh, you are on Yeah, I mean, you are on YouTube right now. I am in Costa Rica right now. My name is Sumat Chatterjee. I'm from the Flow Zone Academy. And I'm a Flow State Specialist, so I help you feel your best and perform your best. Welcome to the channel. Hit that like and subscribe button. So today we're talking all about the golden shadow, okay? Primarily why we're doing our spiritual retreat is because we're here for the golden shadow. And that's basically the fear of success or fear of greatness. I remember in a few videos back, I was talking about how doubt is like chemicals, right? The chemicalization. And um, whenever doubt shows up, it's almost like the manifestation is bound to happen because, well, everything has a polarity to it, right? So if you have the great manifestation, you're also going to get like these little challenges that show up, you know, along the way. By the way, we're at a waterfall. Uh, if you guys weren't aware of that. Yeah, we're about to shotgun some beers by the waterfall. This is going to be like a, a spiritual, what would I call this? A spiritual frat boy attunement. Oh. <laughs> guys, I'm here in Hako Beach. It's him a true me talking to ya, reminding yeah. you. Exactly. That beauty, the tic tac won't stop. It's, it's, you know, it's just a, a makeup. Mm. Yeah. Once a man and twice a child. Once. Everything is for a while. Okay. Seems like the total destruction is the only solution. Yeah. Why? When you go and beg some food, your brother have to be your enemy. Mm. This is some high level wisdom, guys. Hey, you know, nothing I, I tell you don't know. Yeah, I know. You ignore it. Small details of man yeah. to measure the big distances. Yeah. Look at you. Mm. You you're you beautiful as you are. Yeah. I don't need to try. Look at you. Yeah. You're unique. Yeah, man. No one like you, Bobby. Yeah. No one like me. You heard. You have it. to love me to love. You have to love yourself to hey. love me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No other way. No other way. You gotta love yourself, Ryan G. What do you think? Hey, Bobby, yeah. remember, yeah. don't lose track of yourself. You start walking for pedestrians, right? Yeah. If you get on the street, you for vehicles, right? Yeah. You're gonna endanger, you know? You can get run over, I mean. Right. You can't complain? Can't complain. Love your brother, man, and don't lose track of yourself. Love your brother and don't lose track of yourself. Upward spiral gang, let's get it. It's powerful because, well, the understanding being that you know, a lot of the times fraternities are looked down upon. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, they're, they're just those frat guys. They're probably, you know, assholes. And they're just there to get laid or they're just kind of there to, you know, whatever. But it's not that, right? Because the spiritual frat boy understands brotherhood means something completely different to, I guess hazing is, is a part of the understanding of rituals and in masculinity, We've missed out on initiations and rituals, I think, you know? And I think that's a big, big part of it at the same time, you know? It's a big part of it to... Oh, by the way, I hope you guys dig this new hair, man. I got it braided by this woman at the beach. <laughs> All right, so... So anyway, man, so... Yeah, what I was saying is that the... The whole archetype, right, of the spiritual frat boy is looked down upon by society, especially American culture and like, you know, the movies like, you know, American Pie or like, you know, any of these other movies where you just see them playing. But the thing is, some of those guys, 
they get women, okay? There is a masculine quality to doing a keg stand, for instance, or like that culture, you know, of just like, yes, it has been drinking, yes, it's, you know, un unprotected sex or whatever you think about it, right? If we could unravel it and look at it in terms of a traditional thing we're doing, and we're embodying these ancient practices through our aura, through our beingness, right? Rather than trying to, you know, oh yeah, I'll try out next week. I'm a fresher, I wanna fit in, you know? I wanna make sure that, you know, everybody thinks that I'm cool. So I'm gonna go do this. It's not that, man. That's the, like the dorky version of why you're doing it. You see, so intention, as a mystic, I understand this. Intention is key. Intention is ideal. So as we came here with more of an intention, that is what is bringing us into the frequency of what we most prefer, okay? Really start to understand this, guys. This is not easy to comprehend, but once you get it, you get it. And I actually visualize this version of me being in the jungles, being shamanic, you know, doing all of these different things. And you can notice it, I mean, you've seen it on camera, you know I'm a cool motherfucker. I mean, really though, really though, you do know that because by watching this channel and I have a lot of, you know, Indian clients or whatever, um, looking at me maybe, more, more older men or women, you know, looking at this content, understanding, I haven't lost my youthfulness. You see, I'm almost 30, I haven't lost my youthfulness. I think I'm starting to get my youthfulness, you know what I mean? So it's wonderful when you can actually, you know, activate that. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. It is sticky as hell here. Yeah. Be careful. I understand that. Um, yeah, the moss too, it like kind of slides. I'm happy to feel so Let's do that. Yeah, be grateful. Yeah, I don't want to, I, I want to be careful here, so I do have my phone. How about you just sit here? Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and make the video. <laughs> so, so anyway guys, so uh, Ryan, why don't you come in? Let, let's talk about Golden Shadow, what you've experienced so far. What have you experienced so far? Like, what do you, do? have you noticed, like, you've noticed hesitation, like, the doubt, the fucking, you know? The answer to all your questions, guys, and how you utilize horniness, how about that shit? How you so, utilize horniness? Yes. Well, horniness is contagious. That's what we realized. <laughs> uh, is this for YouTube? Or for it is for YouTube. Oh, okay. it, it is My apologies, it. guys. Please, this is a. This is not a piece. <laughs> well, read the disclaimer of all my videos, you know. So. That being said, so one of the things that came up in the spirit was. Um, if you feel into your body what a feeling would be, what is the opposite feeling, what would be. Is it more like going from the thoughts to the feeling or so so let's focus on the non-technical aspect. Yeah. Do you wanna have fun? Yeah. If the answer is yes, then you already know what the fucking answer is. Because you had fun before. And you had fun in a business meeting. And you have like you know like so this is my beef with professionalism, right? Be a professional, get the job done fun. Yeah, don't do it just for the like the one-up, you know, it's like, oh I'm in an Ivy League or like you know what I mean? Like that's that's not the type of rap way that we're embodying in this. You know, know. Well yeah, I'm talking about golden shadow and spiritual crap boy, so right. So the spiritual crap boy is, is hmm. I, this is my perspective, Ryan, so maybe you can speak on it. Fraternities have a bad rap around the world. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about embodying tradition and ancient wisdom through the idea of brotherhood yeah. into a context where it's like something really unique and special. Keep it simple. What works for the bad boy? There's this unfiltered, almost free state. Yeah. To, be a, to be an absolute dick, which is wonderful, right? Yeah. It's, it's, for me as an Indian, it was, you know, leaving home and being a little bit of an idiot and having fun and seeing what the consequences are. There you the go. The spiritual part of you, you know, as spirituality to it, that is pretty much the same thing. 
Yeah, do you have the eyes of your parents like looming, you know, into the, like in the background or whatever? Like thinking like, oh, what will my mom think of this? Or what, what you know, it, are you doing that to yourself? Because if you are, I mean, clearly you're, you're, you haven't tapped into the golden shadow because you've got to leave the comfort zone, right? In order to actually tap into this energy. And I think that once you go from comfort zone to genius zone, that's when it really starts to work, you know? And I think it's, it's a brilliant understanding of you going, wait a minute, I'm not afraid, actually. I think that kind of a night. Okay, guys, we're in Buena, Buena Nota. And, uh, Buena Nota. We're in Buena Nota and, um, yeah, meeting some really fucking cool people. You know? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Um, yeah, I mean, we're jamming. We're talking about spirituality, astrology. Um, it's amazing. You know what's so interesting? The leopard has been showing up so many times on this island. I don't know what it is about that energy. Or is that the white tiger energy? I don't even know. But irregardless. All right, guys. We'll speak soon. <laughs> I'm cautious, you know? I am on edge. I'm living at my edge. Maybe horse blinders are coming in for me to pull the trigger or do something in that moment, right? Like some form of action. And masculine energy is very directed, focused, laser sharp, okay? Yeah, drop it in. So sometimes we find like rocks and stuff like that. So we oftentimes we use it as a ritual in the moment towards the you know, Mother Gaia, this island, Talamankan mythology, you know, the different, well, I think they're called uh, Adetos, I, I don't know the pronunciation, but they're like folklore and like spirits on this island. We actually protect, uh, we use the protection, right? we use the protection based on that, so we actually are pretty safe, but last night, Things got really, really trippy, guys. All right, guys, we're just ending our night. A lot of interesting events mm. have happened. Getting a lot of attunements. Mm. We're being heavily influenced by the dark yeah. feminine energy on this island. And it's almost mm. pushing us towards our greatest selves, I would say, and just kind of shedding away, you know, our past baggage that does not belong anymore. So what do you have to say about that, Ryan? Basically, what I want to say about that is as we were trying to head to the ATM, you saw this uh, old dude, basically an old bum, carrying cans, like a lot of them. And he's struggling and this and that, and then I wondered, we're probably carrying a lot of back, we should have been aware of. Mm. So take time to start doing your energy work, take time to get a coaching you need, yeah. take time to take care of yourself. Right. No, if you need help with that, you know where to you know who to call Ghostbusters. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm not gonna lie. It got spooky. Like spooky spooky. You know what I mean? I'm just wondering like man, there's gotta be like some kind of an understanding. If you have knowledge of spirituality, like a lot of knowledge on spirituality, you will find connections everywhere you go. And um, it's almost like you can make the connections even when there are none. It's like you're almost tapping into the ether and ungrounding yourself in that, right? So, back to the idea of the spiritual crap boy, and, you know, that whole thing. Initiate yourself. Let the problems of your life be like hazing. Be like, you know, oh man, I'm getting initiated. This is not a problem, this is an initiation. This is a portal for me to walk through. Imagine you were in a video game, right? And you just had all the walkthroughs. You could just see things from before. You could get, take a bird's eye view, right? Oh man, zoom. Okay. Bird's eye view. And, uh, oh, that's wild actually, you know. Um, this girl that I met, her name was actually Amber Zoom. I'm exploring my own expansive nature as a man, as a tantric man, as a priest beast, as a savage shaman, as we established this archetype. And uh, I mean, look at how much I've changed within days, right? 
Look at how I changed. My face looks different. I look like a monster doll or something, man. That's so powerful. And I think going somewhere new and shocking your system allows you to do that. Let's get it. For the content, guys, you know? For the content. <laughs> Context over content, in any case. Hold on. Just tuning myself here. Oh, this is like a meditation. You hear my voice in the stream of the of the glorious waters and the water deities that happily engage and walk in a new form, in a new life, embracing the prana within the cosmic dance of the shaman warrior who engages his core and fascinates himself using the beauty and the truth of their own hemispheric unity. And once he engages with the planet and becomes one with the water, becomes one with, oh, this has algae on it. I guess I gotta get up there in that sense. Finding my balance. You see, it's all about finding your balance here. And balance is actually a very, very interesting concept to me, because you're almost like pivoting between two polarities, right? Understanding when to be yin, understanding when to be yang. You see what I'm saying? Like I know when to make my body shorter, taller, different levels, right? Different levels, creating new levels to the video game, right? You can think of it like that too. I mean, really though, I can think of it like that. It is that. So well, you might as well engage with this understanding this water rushing through my hands right now. And I probably have a lot of adrenaline and like neurochemicals, right, going off at the same time. Because technically this is a flow state, right? I'm doing two things at once. And I'm engaging my physical body. Because my body knows and understands, you know, what it kind of needs to do, in a sense. So, in that sense, this is a very, very powerful video, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's a joy <dragon. laughs> This is what it's all about. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> That's everything right there. We're going into the ocean right now, doing some attunements and um, connecting with our deities who are mostly connected to the water uh, kingdom and the water pantheons. I think we're gonna end it here just because we, we kept it a cap at 15 and yeah so I guess that we're gonna end this video now. Follow the Adepts program, get the Costa Rica online tickets, okay? You can watch the recordings. You can also get access to Bali. Okay, we'll talk about that. DM me, message me if you resonate with this content. If you resonate with me, I see you, bro. Or girl, whoever's watching, let's get it. Upward spiral may we never be the same again. Buena nota.